Oh, there we are. So, if any of you guys have ever attended or are familiar with uh, Strong First stuff, and we go, if you've ever been with our seminars, we go over the Turkish get up for a long time. And in the beginning, you always start with a shoe on your fist. And the point of that is to see if you can create a stable shoulder position consistently throughout all the transitions without any load. Because if you lose that shoulder position at all during any of the transitional phases, <clears throat> the shoe's going to fall off your fist. It's a really nice way to kind of explore how people are moving and how well they can control that shoulder before you put load on them. And I was emailing with uh, Jim Hartman at Grip Force, and <clears throat> he was talking about you know, hold also doing something like this, where you not only with the shoe on your fist, but also creating a little bit of crush grip at the hand. And I've been messing with this this morning. I'm finding this is a pretty interesting challenge, but it also helps me create a more stable shoulder position with that shoe when I'm also creating a nice solid grip at the hand. Now, the more you can create grip here, the more it helps keep that shoulder in a better position. So. I just wanted to show you this a little bit and you guys can mess with it, whoever, check it out, see what you think about it. But it is, I was finding it's a little difficult because my hand isn't totally closed fist to get it just right so I get my shoe on my hand, but I want you to check this out. So, first you get that right foot planted, right hand all the way up, and now, since I'm crushing at the hand with this gripper, it helps me to create that fully externally rotated position when I'm in flexion. And it also, I found, was easier to help me keep that position as moving through transitions while I was gripping here. So, here we go. First, make sure that shoulder's packed and down. Roll to the elbow. Close up to the hand. Lift. Sweep the leg through and notice how while I'm gripping it's really easy for me to keep this position. This is where a lot of people will lose that kettlebell, lose the shoe because they'll, as they're making this transition to the lunge position, their hands will turn this way. So, well, as I'm keeping this grip, it's actually easier for me to keep that shoulder in a good position. Hinge up to here. Get myself just right. Stand up. So, and then you know, repeat those steps on the way down. Taking that hand, following it, hinging back. Notice here, too, how I'm hinging back. I'm not leaning over trying to find the ground. I'm hinging, trying to bring that butt to my heel, hand out, create that T position, move that foot if I need to, work my way back down, slowly, there. So, if you got a shoe, if you got one of these, try it with both. But I was finding that crushing this as I go was really helping me create a little better position. So, mess around with it, let me know what you think.